Boom! Did I get you? Ah, oh, come on, I got you that time. I had to have. There's no way you expected that this time. Not in a video about scary games! Okay, I don't know why I'm yelling, expecting that that's gonna actually make you more scared. I'm like a shitty new age horror movie at this point, where I'm just yelling at you and making loud sounds and hoping that it's gonna spook you. But, <coughs> welcome to the video! Don't be scared no more because I'm gonna lead you to greener pastures out into these big scary wonderlands. The first game that we have up on our list is called... Bring it in, bring it in, drop, drop it. Drop, easy, e slower, slow, fucking right! This game is called Did Stress. Now, I, I did stress enough that that was the name of the game, and Did Stress has given me some distress. I, it's distress, but it's spelled Did Stress. I don't know. Did it stress you? Yes, it did. And it's about to stress me even more because it's a spooky, scary game. Um, it's made by Stark! No, Strack Games. Damn, I got all excited for nothing. Uh, let's go with normal, because I'm not an easy boy, but I'm not a hard boy either. I'm more like a soft boiled egg. You know, I give the appearance of toughness, but on the inside of a soft, gooey, squishy center that's full of cholesterol and fat. Stress. <laughs> okay, it's so scary. Did stress. Did stress? I don't know, did it? Uh, keyboard and mouse to move, run, shift, interact, left cliff, space bar, spam. What am I gonna be spamming? I'm gonna spam the comment section with space. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> okay, let's start up this game. Apparently I'm in a South African mental asylum. Is that this one? Okay. But oh god. Where do you think you're going? Home? Daniel. Don't listen to those voices in your head. I think I can fix you. Uh, uh, j just a few <laughs> more electrocutions and they'll be gone for good. You see, yo, I told you. I said it. Listen, JP, we can do this, Oak. It's 3v1, but... No, Vickers. That's actually pretty cool. One body, yo. Shut up, guys. What are you waiting for? Don't make me come get you. That was <laughs> the wrong choice, my boy. I'm coming for you. Did you call me butt boy? Oh, Jesus, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, spam! I get it. Okay, are you dead? Now? He's humping the air. Drop this key. What the fuck is this game? Okay, it's cool because that voice is in either ear talking to me. It fucking run cycle, and then he just started humping the air at me. Okay. Just follow the signs. Oh god, I went back to the office. Oh Jesus. Oh god. Is he Naruto running away from me? Owes, let's turn back. We don't know what's beyond this door. Of course okay. we I bet this I have no idea what's happening. Look at this motherfucker! <laughs> okay, I'm dead. Rip. I'm losing my patience. I'm losing my patience. Stress. <laughs> this is great. I really like this. That was the wrong choice, my boy. There it is. I think he actually is saying butt boy. Okay. The faster I spam, the more health I have afterwards. Oh god, I can't yeah, even see where I'm going. Exit. Okay, exit. I need a key code! What's the fucking key code, Humper? Engelbert Humperdink? Office. Office. Let's go into the office. Maybe there's something in here that we can use. We don't know what's beyond this. I bet there's a code on his PC. That's the code. One one six one three six. It's a terrible code lock. What? You'll never remember this. I'm. I've got a phone. As long as the fucking number stayed the same each and every time. Oh God! Oh God! Oh, I got stuck. Bam! That bitch. Okay. I'm gonna close the door. Thank you. Bye. Oh, how did I get in here? Where the fuck am I going? I don't know. I already forgot the code. It's okay, bro. It's one six uh, three triple six one. What the three. fuck are you saying? No, no. It's, <laughs> now. it's one three one three two one six. That's not it. You suck. One three one. No, no, that's not it. I need to remember what it is on my face. Okay. Let me let me go into my photos. Uh, I'm dead. I keep losing my patience. I keep losing my sanity. I keep I keep getting distressed. Okay, watch this. But 
That was the wrong choice, okay. but boy. That <laughs> was the wrong choice, but boy. <laughs> Spam like a motherfucker. The code's gonna change, isn't it? Yeah, I just follow the signs. Okay. Fuck you! No, no, no. One, three, six. Ah, fuck's sake. And then three, three, six. It's okay. You all can thank me later. Wait, that was it? Was he up at the ground again? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a whole lot more to that. <laughs> Oh, but you know what? As short-lived as it was, it was in our hearts forever. <laughs> that was fucking fun. <laughs> You're wrong way, butt boy. <laughs> and then he humped the air. He humped the air like George Michael used to dance. Very well. Wait, it is made by a Stark. Kevin Stark. Why is it called Three Strack Games? Is that a typo? I don't want to see this game anymore though. It's done. It's over. I escaped. I want to- I want to get off the screen. Let- We gotta hump it out of the screen. We gotta- <coughs> You gotta- HUMP IT OFF CAMERA! Bye! Guys? Are you- are you there? I- I can't see you! I- I feel like I'm trapped in- in a 2D dimension. Everything's all pixelated. Can you- can you see me? Get, okay, I'm over here. Okay, there we go. Nice and clear for, by Clearasil. Welcome to a game called Dead Dreams. I don't know why I keep welcoming you to the game. You're already welcome to the video. Anything beyond that, you're welcome to. I mean, you're here in my house right now, so welcome. There's there's juice and snacks over there. You guys can help yourself. Imagine if you were all sitting here actually watching me play the game as I was playing it. It's like millions of you just sitting out there like, oh. <laughs> I promise I'd be a lot better at this if that was the case. Um, but this is a cool looking game. It's a, it's a 2D, like, top-down, pixelated kind of game. I've played a lot of these in the past, but haven't played one for quite a while. Uh, December 15th. 20... to 26? Oh. Aren't I just cute? I don't know what this is about, though. What are you guys? Are you other people? Okay, the door was sleeping, apparently. Nice to meet you, Thomas. I won't stay for long. What did she say? Oh, nothing. I suppose she's simply worried about you. Thomas, your mother wants you to visit me every Wednesday. That's all she's asking for. Alright, I believe that's better than her endless phone calls. Thank you. Okay. Please sign here, here, and here. What's that? The permission for recording our sessions and some selected memories. Permission to record our sessions. I- I never actually ask you guys to sign anything. Okay, uh, quick, on the screen right now, um, there's gonna be a form. I need you to sign here, here, and here. Okay? If you- if you just tap the screen, get your signatures in, there you go, good job. Okay, now I have your consent to actually record our sessions here. Probably should have done that for the last six years of my YouTube, but <laughs> say last V. Um, the pressure for recording our sessions is some selected memories. Selected memories? During our meetings, I might need to see the key moments from your past. And why is that? So I could better understand the nature of our problem. You want me to voluntarily give you access to my brain? It's a fairly new practice, but it already has shown itself to be very efficient. You can deny the access, but then it would take me a lot more time to identify the issue. Okay, fine, you have my permission. Oh. Then let's start. So, tell me about the school, your old friends. Memory number one. August 13, August 3rd, 19. Wait, am I in 2026? Talk to a girl on the first day of school? Too ambitious. <laughs> Can I have the book? What should I do on the first day of school? Shit my pants and go home crying? Ooh, talk to this person. Come on, just say hi. You wouldn't survive in high school without having any friends. Yeah, life's hard without friends. Okay, I can't actually do anything. 
Must be something I can click on here. Let me see the bulletin board. Nope. Nope. Oh, I just have to click them again. Hello. Hi, what's up? Um, what are you playing? I don't think you've heard about it. It's a little game called Dead Dreams. It's too meta for me. It looks like Firefall 3. My name is Thomas. Liam. N no, Thomas. <laughs> so, you're new, right? Mm, kind of. And you're familiar with Firefall series? <laughs> Just because I'm new to the school doesn't mean I'm new to Earth. It's a classic. I even made a mod for the second one. I'm sure you'll fit in our group. What group? What are you doing after school? Me? Nothing. Why? He didn't tell me what group it is. Could be joining like a communist party or something. Let's go! I want you to meet with a friend of mine. Okay. That's what you were asking for. What's happening? Sorry, my friend. My name is Aaron. Thomas. No, Aaron! <laughs> nice to meet you, Thomas. He knows about the Firefall series and can code. Impressive. Yeah, dude, I code. Thanks. So, what's this all about? Oh, right. See, we're opening the first game dev club in our school, and we want you to join us. If that's okay with you. Sure, I'm in. That sounds like fun. Really? Perfect. Man, my school didn't have cool clubs like that. My school was like sports or nothing. <laughs> Pretty much. How many people have joined your club? You're the first. And Audrey. Wait, Audrey? Who's Audrey? I mean, she didn't say yes, but I'm working on it. Is that her down there that I was too ambitious to talk to? And that's how I became a member of their club. Along with Liam, Aaron, and Audrey. Free time from school we were spending in front of game consoles or out in the city. Trying to become superstars. Gradually, I got to know all of them. Even though Liam pretended he doesn't give a damn, there was one thing he really cared about. Music. My man. Aaron was the heart of our club, the one who was uniting our diverse group. Audrey had a real talent for drawing, but because of her anxieties, she only shared her work with Aaron. And I, in gratitude for such amazing friends, was trying to support all their interests. Oh. December 21st, 2026. Damn, the art style changed. And after that? Are you sure she didn't say anything to you? No. I think that's too much for the first session. It's okay, if you're not ready to discuss it. Hmm. This is interesting. What happened to you? What happened to you, Thomas? Who hurt you? Was it your mom? Record three. That day, we spent on the beach. Art style's really cool. We're going to check out the caves. Are you in? I'll pass. Thomas? Maybe later. As you wish. I saw you. Yeah, I'm real. I, I see you too. On your first day at school. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I was just looking for a seat. Mine was free. Was it? Okay, maybe I just got scared. <laughs> at least you're honest, Thomas. I'm not very good at speaking with girls and people in general. That's not true. You know, before I had no friends except Aaron. How about Sophie? No, I mean real friends. Someone who truly understands you and will never harm you. Oh, this boom boom sounds like Twin Peaks. Is that why you only show your drawings to Aaron? Maybe, although it's a, a little bit different. Here, take this. It's my Nickelback CD collection. Your sketchbook? I want you to give your opinion. Are you sure? All right. Are there, are there going to be nudes in here? Because those aren't allowed on Tumblr anymore. Those are... Great. Really? 100%. You shouldn't be so worried. Thanks. You're very talented. 
Guys? Are you going or what? Let's go. Or let's go? Sorry, I can't speak. Sure. Okay, getting a little closer to Audrey. Why is... Oh, Z is to interact. I thought everything was sleeping. <laughs> the police officials shared new information. Wait, wait, I can, I can do this better. The police officials shared new information about the case. The second cyber murder incident in the last month. See? Atmospheric. A VR headset. Ooh. Now you're speaking my kind of lingo. Okay. All, all my room is sleeping. A box full of old video games. The side effects including hallucination, nightmares, etc. It's dark outside. You find the spyglass. Use it. Hell yeah, I want to look into the darkness and see my soul. Strange. This is a smelloscope. What's strange? Oh god. Right on time. Is that Audrey? Ooh. This is cool. This is very creepy so far. Can I can I Z my pants? It's 1.34 a.m. But I can't sleep. I should take a pill. I haven't even tried to sleep. I mean, maybe you can't actually sleep, but why does the loading screen keep showing? Do you want to tinkle? Take a pill. But these cause hallucinations! No response. But the- what? Weird. Oh, I can't look out the window again. I was hoping I could look out the window and see something completely different this time. And it was on that fateful night. Again, this nightmare. You found Silver Key. Wait. You found Silver Key. Okay. There we go. You found a f Silver Key, you stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just taking around now at this point. You found Gold. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to add to the atmosphere, the ambiance. You found bronze key. Alright, I have a whole Olympic medal thing going on. Okay, none of them work. Too heavy. Pick up the sword! Oh, Jesus! Uh, no, freaky weirdo. It's 7.30 a.m. Where is she? Okay. Ah! Okay, this game is fucked! Really into it though, super cool so far. I take a little tinkle. No response. Wait, I can't do anything else. Okay. It's probably just your pills, bro. I can't go out the door. Can't use the phone. Wait, maybe my computer? Threat detected. New message plus one. Hi, Thomas. Uh, who's this? I have something for you. Okay. It's Audrey, connected to VR. What does it all mean? You have two hours to save her. Otherwise, I'll kill her. How does he know about Audrey? Is that some kind of prank? What do you want, money? Follow my instructions. I don't know if it's true. Call her. You know the number. 
Okay, 69.69? Hello? No response. And now listen. You must turn your VR device and turn on your VR device and click on this link. And don't you dare mess with me. I'm watching you. Am I still dreaming? No. This, this is too real. If he's not lying, I have to do something. Alright, let's strap in, babies! It's time to head into the VR scary spookies. Okay, I can only walk in a straight line. I can't actually turn left or right. Nope. Can't do it. Okay. Someone taking a bath? This game is neat. Professor Oak? Am I about to get my first Pokemon? Who's there? Don't shoot! Who the hell are you? Thomas! My name is Thomas. Wait, Thomas D? Do you know me? I do recall something, but... Could you put down your gun? I'm sorry. I'm a little bit nervous. How did you get here? Well, if you come to the Jacksepticeye, how do we get here? Live show company world tour. <laughs> do you have 90 minutes? Don't trust him. I wish I knew. Can't remember anything. Look, I've got some notes in my pocket. A. Rogers, private detective. Find Miss Rains. Are we gonna praise them down in Africa? Does that mean anything to you? Miss Rains? Of course. This should be Audrey. Is she also here? Are you really asking me that? True, true. So, we do have something in common. That's good news, I suppose. How did you get here? Well, do you have na- <laughs> It works too well! God, my head. Focus. He said that if I wanted to see her alive, I must enter the game. So, you don't know who that was? He didn't say his name. Listen, if he chose you and Audrey, I, couldn't it be some someone you know? That's impossible. Are you sure? Maybe the game club actually made a game and now we're in it. Uh, no, I'm not sure. I don't have any enemies, nor friends. What about Audrey? <laughs> Calm down. Maybe that's all just a big misunderstanding. Have you seen the news about that maniac who killed a man plugged into a VR system? Okay, that's a good point, but... But what? God, I wish this was all just a dream. How many people did he kill already? Five or six? And no survivors? Then just take off the VR headset. Just breathe, okay? Okay. Sorry. I'm alright. Can I... Just give me some time, okay? Sure. So, what should we do? Find the exit. It's dark. Wait, aren't you coming? Sorry, I hurt my leg. What happened? No idea. If you break your leg in the game, you break your leg in real life. Don't be scared. I'm not scared, it's just... Maybe we should stay and wait for help? That's how I knew your name. Miss R, she was worried about you. Asked me to find your number. Really? Okay, I'm going inside. Very well. You know where to find me. Out here with my broken ass leg. Oh, that's the thing. That was upside down when it chased me. Oh god, god. I don't like those. Big wingle- wiggle dangles. Oh, that's a horrifying sound! Can you- can you stop? Can you stop doing that? I don't like it. Okay. 
This game may actually be longer than I was given it credit for. You need the bronze key. Hi! It's a mannequin. Oh, thank fuck. Unless that mannequin's gonna fucking move. Is that a naked dead man? Oh, lord. Another mannequin. But now covered in blood. Seems almost real. A terrible smell comes from the eye holes. He's holding something. It's a silver key. How do I get it? Just use your hands. Use your hands there, buddy boy. Okay. It's another mannequin. It's locked. I'm gonna get fucking lost in this game. Okay, a TV. Okay, just keep your wits about you. There could be two meanings of dreams. The first is that dreams are simply expressions of some internal desires or fears, the shadows of something real. The second is the belief of the soul leaving the physical body. For example, many indigenous tribes assume that dreams are a way of meeting with their ancestors. In the Middle Ages, they were seen as the work of the devil. It's locked. What are they saying? Okay, can I not go around this mannequin? Okay, everything's locked and nothing works. Ooh, you found record three. It's locked. Oh god, now everything's locked in here. Wait, wasn't there a thing I could play this on over here? Yeah. I know. I just turned off the radio. So, sorry guys, it's locked. I tried everything and I'm all out of ideas. Don't like that. What's breathing? Hello? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, it's the fucking radio again. But why is it coming out of the right ear, not the left ear? What do I do? Oh. The spirits are very sensitive to radio waves. They can either provoke or calm them down. Here are a few examples. 103.9, 106.7, 114- Okay! 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 You and your friends are dead. That's a nice uplifting message. Alright, ghosty man is after me. If I- 103.9 And I'm dead again. Ah, that did it! 114.2 was the code. Is that... our old favorite vinyl record? Ah, oh, now we can leave. Sweet! Okay, I have a lot more fucking exploring to do though. There's so much shit around here. Some dusty jars. Inside one of them you find... the right eye. Oh, for the, the big mannequin boy. Okay, I honestly have no idea where I am in relation to anything in this map right now. Oh, okay, now I kinda do. Okay, it all loops back around to itself. Okay, can you- can you use the- the eye? Okay, I'm a- I'm a save just in case. I'm glad that I can save anywhere. Cause that's really gonna save my ass. Use the right eye. <laughs> Maybe I can use the stuff when I have both of them. 
Okay. The left cell opens up. You found left eye. Oh. Did all of this stuff actually happen to this guy? Is he just hallucinating on his- on his meds? You were inserting the cassette. December 21st, 2026. Are you sure she didn't say anything to you? No. I think that's too much for the first session. It's okay if you're not ready to discuss it. But this isn't the first session. Thomas? Was that the tank engine? <laughs> There was an accident, and one month later, a funeral. I'm so sorry, how did you handle all that loss? There was no us. At that time, we all stopped talking. Why? And since then, you never met back up? Nope. But would you? Would you like to meet with them, to talk to them in person? Maybe with Audrey? Thomas, why don't you answer your mother's calls? I was busy. She always exaggerates my problems. I just have my own stuff going on, that's all. Perhaps she's the one who needs some help. Christmas is in four days. At least you could visit her. She would be happy to see you. I don't fit in her perfect family. Hmm. Mommy issues getting you down there, Thomas? Hang in there, slugger! Flip the cassette. Record one. It was that- it was the day of the fireworks festival in our town. While Audrey and Aaron were checking out the clo- the closest closet food stalls, I was joined by Liam, who was looking for a place with a good view. Are you not going with them? I didn't want to leave you all alone. So how are you? Why are you asking? I don't know, just- you're acting strangely lately. No sarcastic remarks or complaints about the weather. <laughs> Did they notice that too? You won't tell me what happened? Nothing new, just some problems with my parents. You haven't brought the signatures yet, have you? The permission slip for the winter holidays trip. Nope. Next Monday is the last day. I know, my grades in economics are below average. Father wants me to spend all the holidays studying. The guys are going to be upset. I don't know how to tell them. I'm really sorry, knowing for how long Aaron was looking forward to it. See you tomorrow at 11am at my place. Why is that? I'll help you with your grades. Since we don't have much time left, we're going to study every day. Thank you, but I won't be able to increase my, in my grades in just one week. You don't have to. Do you know your father's signature? Are you serious? Think about this. We'll forge his signature and continue studying right until the holidays. After that, you'll tell him that we still have some time to sign the permission slip. But what if he finds out, or won't be satisfied with my grades anyway? I don't know. Try to convince him that this trip is a good motivation for you. You're right. I still have a chance. Thank you, Thomas. That's sweet. What a good friend! I mean, maybe not about forging the signature aspect, but he knows what his friend needs and he wants to help. Okay. So now I have the left and the right eye. Can I do the mannequin thing now? Was it here? Nope. Oh, think it's this one. Ugh. <laughs> Gross. Agreed. You found Silver Key. What was that sound? Okay, I need a bronze key for this. I don't know where the silver key goes. And sometimes I don't know if stuff- well, maybe it's this- OH GOD! The fuck was that? I feel it. It's close. I can't fight any longer. For what? How's it gonna happen? I don't know, but before that, I should choose the appropriate music. Each record for the accordant state of mind. Anger with a taste of ash in the mouth. P 
Peace, eternal and dark. Grief as a pilgrim in the sandstorm. Okay. Is the fucking clown laughing? <laughs> it's a mannequin! That's not a mannequin, that's an abomination! <laughs> okay. Well, have I been changing the music? People who desire the closeness to God, but are sinners in life, were sent to purgatory. Only a fearless man who defeated his inner demons could pass through the gates of heaven. No, oh, Jesus! Grief. Okay, so grief was what? Pilgrim in the sandstorm. Well, I don't fucking know which one's a witch. Oh. Correct. Um, excuse me? How did- wh what? Anger with a taste of ash in the mouth, peace eternal and dire grief is a pilgrim in the sandstorm. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, because the chair moved. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna save here so I don't have to do all this fucking dialogue again. Oh, God. Are you gonna start off with grief again? He starts off with grief. So then it must be anger afterwards, so anger is taste of ash in the mouth. Okay. We got this. Anger. No! I'm fuck's sake! Oh god! Oh, Jesus Christ! This is obnoxious! There's nowhere to run and hide! Because to get the menu to show up, you have to press the arrow key, so I hit it by accident. So, ash in the mouth, eruption. So, storm, eruption, and abyss. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, please be right, I didn't even check you. Eternal and dark. Are you coming after me anyway? Motherfucker. How dare he? Oh, God! <laughs> Empty butthole face got me! God, there's so much death! Well, it is called dead dreams, so... Oh, how do I get around you? That's what I want to know. That's what I would like to know! Okay, 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 do this. <laughs> I wasn't even anywhere near you that time. Alright, let's see what happens. Are you gonna come this way? Are you <laughs> kidding me? I got it, I got it, I got it. It's easy, watch it this time. <laughs> She's gonna come this way. She's gonna keep coming this way. Now I have enough clearance. Alright, these dang hallways, man. Okay, keep saving. Keep saving past the bullshit. Alright, what's in here? Dad? <laughs> Liam? Thomas? What- what are you doing here? It seems he got both of us. How did you get here? Well, do you have 90 minutes? <laughs> it's a long story. And is Audrey out there? It's about 90 minutes long. Like nothing has ever happened. What do you think? What does he want from us? I don't know. Firstly, we have to get out of here and find Audrey. If there is an exit, in any case, it's good we've met. We should stick together. We can't. Oh, but band of brothers! Stick together! Fight the demons! Double power. There's no time left. It would be better to split up. That's a terrible idea. Okay, I guess, but how will we find each other? 
And how do you know there's no time left? Let's look around. Maybe we could find some communication device. Just yell at each other. Hey, did you find anything? No. Cool. You found walkie-talkies. Well, how handy dandy for me. This door is blowing cold air. That should be the basement. You alright there, Liam? Firstly, I have to find the key and some communication device. Okay. Let me find... The key. Okay. There are three portraits. The first is always lying. The second says the truth. And the last one responds at random. Each of them could be asked one question. Looks like some kind of puzzle. Do you see the key? Yeah, right inside her mouth. As I understood, you must find the one which is lying and point at him with the mannequin's arm. Oh, I hate these riddles though! The first is always lying, the second says the truth, and the last one responds at random. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see a young man. Uh... Okay, what should I ask? Is Audrey here? Yes. Said the first one is lying though. You see a woman. Is Audrey here? Yes. See a middle-aged man. No. Okay, wait. So if the first one is lying, the second one tells the truth. I clicked it by accident and got the answer anyway. I don't even know which one I clicked. Fuck yeah, I got the key, Liam. <laughs> Let's move on out. Walkie talkies? Perfect. Let's split and find the exit. Alright, I got the gold key. Just save. Just keep saving. All the time. This fucking abomination is coming after me again. Where was the gold door? I can't remember a gold door. Mm, that's that. Oh god, you scared me. Mm, that's back in the room where I defeated the ghost with the magic music. Oh. Boom! I'm- I'm constantly saving because I keep dying to... Shittery. Found record one. How did I know to use the silver key? It just used a random key at random and randomness happened. XX6369. So I need two more numbers now. Put hand inside the hole? <laughs> Nothing has ever gone wrong with somebody putting a hand inside a hole. Just stick up your hand and... It's gone! Okay, let's put my hand inside the hole. <sighs> This is a bad idea. We found iron key. That was a great idea! Uh oh. Something's gonna come in, isn't it? It's locked. Okay. Oh. Oh! I don't like how slowly you're opening this. Oh, God. Hi. Okay. There is a ghost chasing my ass. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Oh, I'm trapped. Oh, I'm calling. I'm calling. I'm calling you. Go away. That sound is freaky. Ah, uh, hello? No answer. Oh, it's unlocked now. Did you find anything? An iron key, but it should open the basement. Wait. Shit. What? I think there's someone in here. Get out of there! Where are you right now? He's coming for me. 
Run! Liam? Wait, who the fuck has a gun? No! Oh, butthole baby! God damn it, butthole baby! The worst! Okay, I should just save after this so I get past all the dialogue. There. Where was Liam? Is a very good question. Back at the basement? Why- <laughs> God! Every time! You suck, lady. Uh, you all suck! <laughs> Are all the mannequins coming to life eventually? Is that what's happening? Okay, I kinda wanna go this way. Oh, you did come to life! I see. Don't come to life. Don't come to life. Don't come to life. This makes every mannequin worse. Oh! Mr. Rogers? Mister, are you alright? What happened? Nothing. What are you doing here anyway? Your leg. It still hurts like hell, but I couldn't leave alone. You wouldn't refuse some extra help, would you? I suppose. Can I ask you a question? Have you met someone here? Maybe. Thomas, remember, I'm a detective. Any information could be valuable. Did you know that my dad was a police officer? No, why? He had friends wounded in the leg. What are you implying? As a detective, you should know that this kind of injury takes months to recover. But here you are. Is this gonna be a Saw revelation? Is he actually gonna be the bad guy? He's the one who stuck me in here? Don't you remember? It's just a signal, signal of pain that bothers me. The leg itself is okay. Mm, true. But yet you don't trust me. Take it. Gun? What? Take my gun. Now all the power is in your hands. There's only one bullet left. Trying to buy my trust? Listen, if if we want to get out of here, we should work together as a team. You won't be able to save Audrey all by yourself. Alright, I'll take the gun. So what? Did she tell you something about Liam? That's a little close. That's stranger danger. No. Tell me everything. So, you haven't seen him ever since? There's only one place he could go. The basement. Did you find the key? Excellent. I should say you were pretty tough for a nerd. Rude. Oh shit! Uh oh! Scary monster man got him! Oh, are we- oh, are we doing this shit? Oh, are we doing it? Oh, back on my bullshit again, I guess. No, oh, it's asking me to save anyway. Going down into the basement is a terrible idea! You found the key of shame! <laughs> shame! You found the key of denial. Oh, I'm back here again. Too heavy. STILL! You found the key of paranoia. You found the key of daddy issues. Okay. I'm a- I'm a save again. Stop running. Oh. There we go. Get out of here. Wait. This- OH GOD! The thing doesn't work! Find a weapon. No oh, shit! <gasps> Excalibur! I can't do anything. Oh! Oh shit! Yeah! Yeah, fuck him up, Kenneth! Oh, we QTE now, boys! Oh, 
<laughs> All that slashing. Okay, that actually did do something. Jesus Christ, this game is intense. This is way, like, way spookier than I was expecting it to be. Did I actually pick that up? Record five. Man, I'm gonna have to enjoy the same great Coke taste with zero sugar for that one. December 18th. Oh, I'm back home. This isn't home. Stop it. I said let's talk tomorrow. You woke him up. So now it's my fault? God, are you always so- So what? It doesn't matter. Say it! Where are you going? To get some fresh air. Alright then, get out! We don't need you here anyway. Thomas, I'm sorry for waking you up. Go to your bed. Tomorrow's a school day. But I can't sleep because you guys are mad at each other. Dad? Your window goes out right to the porch. And you could easily go down to the old drain pipe. Oh. Daddy dearest, where hast thou gone? What are you doing here? I need to think. You won't turn me away? Do as you wish. You and your dad approach his favorite place, the strip club. He preferred radio to a TV. In the evening, if he returned on time, you two would sit down near the fireplace and tune in to the jazz music station. Wait outside. But, do you trust me? What? I need you to wait outside. I've got a problem to solve. Okay, fine. <laughs> Be kind to her. This is not her fault. Fault? Did the dad kill himself and that's who's been chasing me? It's too soon. He'll come back in a minute. I don't know if dad's coming back. I can't really do anything else. Very soon. It's getting cold. Maybe something happened. Is that who we've been seeing as the hallucination? The man said that my dad left 20 minutes ago. What? Oh god. Oh god, okay. Am I not able to talk to these things? This one has a fucking gramophone head. I think this dude is having nightmares about stuff that happened with his parents. I go home. He never came back. Okay. There's just a fucking noose there. And some lady nattering in my ear again. Let's see, let's see if we can replicate the effect. I don't know. Thank you for playing Dead Dreams demo. No! Follow me on social media. I thought there was more! Oh, I didn't know it was a demo! It even says it in the very top left of the screen that it's Dead Dreams demo. Oh, that was cool! <laughs> Man breathing. Ambience creepy wind A. <laughs> breathing. Second body. Dark horn blast. Chair scrape. Oh, that was really fun. Doesn't it kind of sound like uh, Twin Peaks? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Um. As short as- oh, it wasn't actually that short. That was like an hour. Um, but as- because it was- it wasn't the full game, but as minimalistic as that experience was, is what I'm trying to say, it, that was really good. That had me on the edge. I was actually curious. When I started it off, it felt like it was going to get a bit tedious, because I thought there was a bit too much, like, wandering around, but it kind of tied it all together. It worked out really well. And it reminds me of- I used to play games like this a lot back when I started off my YouTube like Mad Father and Eeb and games like that and I haven't played any in a really long time so something like this is like a throwback 
And this one's good. I like this a lot. I would highly recommend this to anybody. Um, and I hope to get the game finished. And I hope that there's a full version of it. I liked it a lot. But for now, these dreams are dead. Sam, Sam, go to sleep. So, are, are you drifting off? Are you sleeping? Oh, it's the next game. It's called Glitch. Oh, there's a glitch in my esophagus right now. Um, this game looked cool. I, again, I don't really know what it's about, but the, the visuals looked cool. It had a pretty beefy download compared to some of these games. Most of these games are like 70 to 150 MB. Um, and then this one was like 500. So usually that means that there's a bit more effort put into the visuals because the textures are quite large. Um, but I don't know what the game itself is about. I just like the name Glitch. 1965, Dr. Felix decided to return to his old house, but he felt that something was odd. What, what was odd? Mm. Oh god. <laughs> um... What? What did I- what did it- what did it- What the fuck? Did I do that with a button press? Okay, I have a Prince of Persia's time rewind. Squeak! Squeak! Okay, so I rewound this and didn't die. That's fucking great. I love not dying. It's wonderful! Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I'm crushing myself in the door. Right. <laughs> so the world turns upside down. How did I trigger that? Did I even trigger that? I think I'm stuck here now. Caps lock on. No, I don't want caps lock on. Can I- can I look at some buttons? Oh, maybe it's because I have a controller plugged in. That ain't it, chief. Nothing, nothing works. Noth nothing works. Cool. <laughs> okay. There we go. Return! It's rewind time. Ah, that's hot. It's rewind time. Okay, and I'm gonna die, right? But I can just rewind time, and then everything's fine. Boom! No, I'm not dead. Ha ha, go fuck yourself. And then you go into the room, and it's like, oh no, it's all upside down! Ha ha! Rewind time, bitch! This is cool, I like this. This is fun. Wait, what happened? <gasps> I have no reflection! I'm a vampire! I'm a ghost! Ghost vampire. I am having a very hard time seeing anything in this game. Can I go out these doors? Ah, another door. Something did seem odd. Everything. Can I, can I, I can't even go into the options. I want to up the brightness. It's locked. I can't go in there. Alright. If you're gonna spook me, now I gotta rewind time. I gotta- I got Will Smith powers. I got Fortnite and Markass Brownlee powers. Oh. I fell! Ha ha! Shit, it happened again. Okay, I thought I could jump. I can't jump. I can make sounds with my feet. I can tap dance. It's okay, I didn't die though, so I can just go back up and try again. Still lock it! I need power for it! And I saw the power in here, this is a circuit box. Okay, so how... How do I actually do this? Hmm. Okay! 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 That actually scared me! Oh, fuck me! 
Didn't like that. Okay, can I... Can I not be an upside down boy? Oh god, I kind of fucking broke it there for a second. Alright, this game got me fucked up! It's right there. It's right there. Just let me... I wonder can I hit it as I fall? Oh, I probably can. There we go! Okay, I don't want any more of your music. I just want to get the fuck through here. Now this door should open, right? Hooray! Progress. Okay, I don't like keeping doors open, okay? You're gonna let the fucking heat out. Uh, enter password. The hell's my password? Another locked door. Fucking great. I don't know what my password is. I, I'm clicking E on this and nothing's happening. Can I- can I hit the switch again? No. <laughs> I can't see anything. We're gonna have to up the brightness way higher for the video. And I can't leave. Can I just- can I just go home? Well, apparently this is my home. It seems like it. And there's nothing over here. I am not feeling this. I can enter numbers. I- I haven't even seen numbers. And uh, now the screen is dark. I broke it! Um, I exited the computer to try and go search for things and the whole screen is black now and... I can't see anything. Great! Glitch everybody! Maybe that was the point of the game. Maybe you're trying to tell me that you can't escape the glitch. That the game is gonna glitch. And then it's a feature of the game, rather than the game just not working. Um, either way, I like the idea behind that. I like the mechanic of rewinding time. Always super cool. I fucking love any game that has that sort of mechanic in it. Um, just very few games actually use it properly. Um, like Prince of Persia was the first game I ever remember playing that had a rewind function. And that used it properly because you circumvented death. So, it helped you learn. It- it changed how death worked in a video game. And any time a developer can change how death works in a video game is always usually something pretty cool. Like, um, stuff like Dark Souls and Bloodborne have a different death mechanic because you die normally, but death means something different. You don't just restart a level or anything like that. You go back and then you pick up your items again. Those types of mechanics are cool. So, when Prince of Persia came along and had a rewind time function, it was cool because you went along, you saw the puzzle, you had to run across the wall, you jumped, you're like, oh shit, that's not it. Then you died, you re rewound time, hopefully, properly, so you didn't keep dying over and over again. And it helped you learn, it helped you get better, it helped you redo the same sections of the game over and over again, but without making you die and restart certain sections. So anything like that is very cool. So I like what this game was going for, I just don't think the execution is right there. But anytime anybody tries that rewind function in a video game, my hat's off to you because I love that anyway. <laughs> Gotcha! <laughs>